another variation of the chromosome walking is chromos chromosome jumping where we can construct the jumping libraries. So, jumping libraries they are constructed under those situations where the DNA fragment it is very very large that it may be from 50 to 200 kilobase pairs. So, in this case when the DNA fragment it is very large then the gene of interest on that fragment they may be far apart. So, genes may be at uh, different, different ends. For example, in the construction of jumping libraries, the genomic DNA, it can be digested with uh, a suitable enzyme and here the NOT1 enzyme, it can be used. NOT1 is an enzyme uh, that can target at rare sites so that the DNA fragments that are produced, they are very large. And here, the larger DNA fragment, they are circularized so that the genes that are present at the ends, like X gene at one end and Y gene at an other end, they are far apart from uh, each other. If we will circularize the DNA, so those genes that are far apart are at distant locations, they will come close to each other. And then after the, res uh, after the circularization of the DNA, the closure sites again they are digested with restriction enzyme so that the genes that once located uh, at different locations they come close with each other and then those fragments from the closure sites or the junctions they are cloned further and such a type of DNAs that are uh, that are cloned from the closure sites, they can constitute the jumping libraries. So, in jumping libraries, again I can repeat that the genes that are present far apart, they can come close to each other and then after digestion, the, uh, the target DNA is cloned to an appropriate vector. For example, here this diagram it indicates one of the example of jumping clone or uh, jumping DNA library construction. Suppose this is a segment of the DNA or it may represent a chromosome that contain two genes. Suppose here at left side it may be X and another side it may be Y gene that are far apart from each other and how we can manage that these two genes they come close to each other. So, it can be managed by the circularization of the very large DNA fragment so that the genes once located far apart they, they come close to each other. Then here the DNA it is digested and the jumping clone it is formed here and this jumping clone it can be ligated in an appropriate vector and further this clone can be used for screening. So, this is one of the strategy of jumping library construction. Now, what are the applications of chromosome walking and chromosome jumping? The application is in the detection of human genetic disorder. For example, these two techniques like uh, uh, the construction of jumping libraries, it can be used to detect gene for cystus fibrosis in human. Cystus fibrosis, you have ये different disorder cause करती है, like different organs like kidney, uh, liver, uh, pancreas जो हैं ये target होते हैं, इनमें genetic disorder होता है, uh, और जो genetic disorder है, it is because of uh, autosomal recessive situation, uh, और ये जो genetic disorder है इसको detect किया जा सकता है by using prenatal diagnosis. Uh, so that uh, we may have an appropriate idea that uh, this fetus it is having this disorder. Uh, so the gene of this uh, uh, cystus fibrosis it can be cloned for the detection of this genetic disorder. So this is one of the application where we can use chromosome walking and jumping.
to detect human genetic disorders.